Afternoon. Back on a Monday, we I am in the gym, going through some more forms. Uh, much better angle. Big things again. We talked about four snacks. Big thing people are not sure about is food, what to eat, and when to eat it. I go through this in a lot of depth during the transformation sessions, but there is quite a lot of information and it's quite hard to remember. So I have done a bit of a diagram slash table. pointer because I need to flip this round otherwise you guys the ladies will see everything backwards so I flipped around so stand back a bit you have my writing a terrible so we have s is sugar c is carbs fat protein okay that is the order in which your body will digest food. So, you will burn off all the sugar in your body until there's none left. Then you'll burn off all the carbs until there's none left. And then you'll burn off your body fat, which is what you want to try and achieve, okay? So, if your diet is very high in these two, you will only ever burn these two off. You don't ever burn this off, okay? Protein your body cannot store it so if you eat too much it just goes straight through you if you don't eat enough it will uh, break your own muscle tissue down in order to get it so sugar fruit has a lot of sugar mm -hmm. in it I took a picture earlier of one of those naked um, naked smoothies more sugar than a can of coke okay sweets obviously Harry Bow stuff like that you don't need me to tell you gummy bears you don't need me to tell you that's bad. Alcohol, anything, Malibu, Southern Comfort, stuff like that is sugar, okay? Until you have burnt these things off, you do not burn anything else, okay? So you only really need it if you need energy very quickly, potentially pre-workout, so fruit you would have then. But in general, try and cut that down as much as possible, okay? Once the sugar has run out, carbs, this is the thing lots of people struggle with. As a rule, Carbs beige, potato, bread, pasta, cereal, biscuits, hash browns, you can think of all, anything beige, generally it is a carb. Too much of this is normally what leads to weight gain, not too much fat, okay? These are all the things that are carbs. Well, good examples of carbs. So you wanna try and eat them either early in the day then you've got the whole day to burn it off or in and around your workouts. That is the best time to have these things. You don't have to cut them out completely. You just need to have less of them and at better times. So I will normally give myself one carby meal a day. I might have it for breakfast. So I might include oats or porridge in my breakfast. And then I'll try and have a carb free lunch or I might do it the other way around. I might have an omelet for breakfast and then have a carb-free lunch. So, your body burns all this off until there's none left. Then you'll burn off all this until there's none left, and then you'll burn body fat. Good forms of fat are the ones I've listed here. So nuts, eggs, avocado, cheese, olives, these are good fats. These are the fats that you want, and they will help, this sounds a bit weird, but these will help burn more fat because they have things in them, fatty acids that help digest it quicker, more easily, get it out of your body more, okay? So you burn off all the sugar until there's none left, then you burn off all the carbs until there's none left, and then fat, okay? Protein, again, body can't store it. Eat too much, just go straight through you. Generally, protein, chicken, fish, steak, eggs, cheese, and nuts, a lot of things fall into these two categories. So again, fish has a lot of fat, and a lot of protein, eggs, fat protein, cheese, fat protein. If you were to have a cheese omelette, because you just have fat and protein, you'll burn off the fat that's in the food, and then you'll burn your body fat. If you would have a cheese omelette and some toast, or bread as it's written down there, you will just burn off the bread. So you burn off this category, 
and then you store this one. Okay, this is basically like a sliding escalator line of food. Burn off the sugar, runs out. Burn off the carbs, runs out. Burn your body fat. That is pretty much how it works. Okay, again, try and cut the sugars down as much as possible. You don't really need that at all. Carbs in and around your workouts. Fat and protein. Fats, depends on what kind of food you're having. For instance, a chicken has less fat than steak. Cod has less fat than salmon. But generally, you wanna get these, I should have written these before I flip the thing around, with every meal, okay? So try and limit these unless you really need some energy very fast. Carbs, either first thing in the morning or in and around your workouts. Protein, every meal, okay? Typical perfect day, I'll flip this around now. Typical perfect day, omelette for breakfast. Uh, snack mid-morning, you could have Greek yogurt, blueberries, that's really good. Lunch, chicken salad, tuna, chicken fajitas. You could have a mince, like a little uh, chili thing. Uh, Mid-afternoon, nuts, a good snack. And you can have fruit if you're just about to do a workout again. So again, timing is important. If any of this doesn't make sense, say, and I'll go over it again, or just comment and I'll, I'll answer the comments. Um, so fruit is doing a workout and then dinner should literally just be meat, chicken, fish, veg salad. Try not to have any carbs at all. You do not need it, your body doesn't want it. No pizza, no. <laughs> that is not allowed. There was one person once, and I've said this multiple times, who thought Hawaiian pizza was one of our five a day because they had pineapple on it. Certain, I've, and I've said this before as well, I'm, I can give you as much information as you want, I explain it to the point where you understand absolutely everything, how your body works. You have to go and do it. I'm here, that's why I'm here to, to do meal plans and things as well. And there's some in the far section. That's why with the training, you pretty much just have to turn up. Me and Matt run the sessions, change the weights, progress things, motivate you. Again, all you've got to do is turn up, but you have to do it. It's no use me telling you, don't have, don't have carbs for your dinner, if you then go and do it. Um, there are certain things you can do to improve your lifestyle, um, become more organised, that makes it a lot easier, but it is still down to you. So, again, that's a typical perfect day. Um, you just have to be consistent as well. So, I might even take a screenshot of this and put it in the group so everyone can kind of see what it is. Again, if you've got any questions, say, but hopefully that makes things a lot